Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today I'm coming to you with your weekly oracle card guidance. What have you come here to hear today? What is your question? Prepare yourself to receive your answer. We have three decks in front of us as usually on, on the weekly oracle forecast and it's deck one, deck two and deck three and you may go down to the description box below where you'll find the timestamp which will lead you directly to your reading. If you have not yet chosen a deck, please pause the video and do that. I'm going to go ahead and begin the reading. So we have the This is Simple uh, Oracle deck here by Sonia Chiquette. And we are asking, what is the advice that you've come here to hear today? What is the message that we've come here to hear? Well, this has fallen out and this as well. It says lend a hand and the answer is yes. So that was the first one. But I'm just going to flip them over because I wasn't ready. And I just, I didn't get the advice for, uh, for everyone. So that might be the advice for a couple of you. And I'm going to start again. What is it that all of you have tuned in? to the first deck need to hear right now. Oops, there we are. Okay. So it says, fill the well. I'm still feeling that this is not the only card that we need for today. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and shuffle another one. What is it that everyone has come to this deck today need to hear? Wow, these cards are all over the place today. Okay, I do feel that this is important, but I'm going to actually, I'm going to actually choose another one. Yes, I know usually you choose just one card for these um, readings, but today I feel inclined to choose more than one for this deck. What is it that they need to hear? Okay. And it's this. All right, great. So this is really interesting because this is actually, I've been doing reading this all day and this actually resonates with, um, with most of the readings I've been doing for today. So the cards are full the well and it's the number 25. It's dare to be happy, which is the number 26 and it's nine, tell the truth. So I'm going to read these cards quite um, literally, but I also want to just briefly talk about the energy at play at the moment. So what's the uh, overriding energy at the moment is the question, are you allowing yourself to be happy? Are you actually uh, giving yourself the permission to feel joy? And some of you may be so detached or so um, cut off from that feeling of joy or bliss or you've been in trauma or pain for so long that you've forgotten what it's like to fe truly feel happy. You won't even be aware of this because if you've been under a cloud for so long, how do you know what the sun feels like on your skin? How do you know what it feels like to have the snow melt or to have shoots come up through the ground if you've been in a winter for very, very long? So the, the energy that's overriding at the moment is asking us, well, We've gone through all these difficulties and we've been working on these things for the last two to three years, uh, you know, really hard moments. But actually, are you able at this moment to give yourself the permission to let go of that and to be free? All right. So the first card for you that's come up is fill the well. And it's the number 25, as I've mentioned. And what it's saying to you here is that before you can actually dare to be happy or before you can uh, be happy, uh, if you give yourself the permission to do so, what you need to do is you need to prepare yourself for it. Okay, so uh, there's this idea that of your cup being your love length, your love cup or your love chalice being empty and you need to fill it in order for you to be able to give love. And this is the kind of analogy that I'm picking up here right now. What you need to do is you need to nurture yourself. You need to give yourself what it is that you need in order to be able to be happy because you can't just switch from being the way you've been for some time and then just suddenly be free, you know, unless you, lightning strikes you or perhaps you do um, some kind of magnificent, potent healing um, or you go through some kind of um, huge transformation, a spiritual transformation and you have a huge awakening, you know, it's not going to happen. You can't just switch 
from one to the other. What you need to do is prepare for this. And the way in which you need to prepare for this is to nurture yourself and to actually give yourself what it is that you need right now to be able to, to actually allow yourself to be free, allow yourself to be happy, allow yourself to let go and to laugh and to enjoy, to breathe, okay? So um, for those of you who are having issues with uh, heart chakra, throat chakra, um stuff and you know you you've been you've been feeling quite locked away you've been feeling like you're not able to express yourself you've been feeling like you've not been able to really go out there and be you need to be able to look after yourself and give yourself what it is that you need so that you can be happy all right and uh, that would might very well mean giving yourself the love that uh, another or others are not able to give you. It might also mean simply just taking care of yourself and getting in touch with what your feelings really are. It might mean uh, simply acknowledging who you really are or what, what has been lost through the process of childhood or adulthood or trauma and just getting in touch with that part of you which is your essence. And in order for you to be able to do that, you are going to need to confront that aspect of you, which others await of you. So what are those, what are those around you? Um, sorry, let me just rephrase that. What are the expectations of those around you? What are others awaiting of you that you are not able to provide anymore? Because you're making this transition and you're moving into that space where you dare to be happy and you dare to be other and you dare to raise your vibration and you dare to feel joy and actual bliss. What is it that you are now moving towards? And how are those around you going to respond to you as a result of that? Because remember, as you raise your vibration and as you change your vibration, as you change your frequency, you actually are not going to be resonating with those around you. And those around you are still expecting you to be the old you. But you're going through a transformation here where you're looking after yourself and you're giving yourself the permission to be free and to be like you've not been for a long, long time. And in order to be able to do that, you are going to need to tell the truth. You are going to need to reveal yourself. You are going to need to be honest with those around you and show them the new you, even if it means that it won't be, um, you won't be received very well or that you may not be um, appreciated as a result or you may even be rejected you know and I'm not saying that is what's going to happen all right for everyone here you're going to have a different response so people around you can have a different response to the change that's that you're undergoing right now but in order for you to be able to complete the cycle to be able to allow yourself to to step into this bliss this feeling of real joy and to be able to truly experience that you need to be able to tell the truth you need to be able to tell them who you are you need to be able to be bold about it regardless of what their reaction is going to be so that's a very straightforward uh reading for you today that's i think it's uh it, there's a story here you know there is the goal is this and the first question you've got to ask yourself is do i dare myself to be happy oops apologies for that there's a huge gust of wind that just came through so yes do you dare to be happy and if so take the measures that you need to fill that well and then tell the truth telling the truth may not necessarily mean that this is about you actually speaking something about yourself but it might actually just mean being yourself, being the new you, that part of you which dares to be happy in a world where others may not necessarily have reached that goal or be even have that as a goal. Um, yeah, it's about being able to be yourself regardless of what is, what is going on around you. All right, so that's your reading for those of you who've chosen this deck today. And uh, I did want to go for something that was a little bit lighter today. And um, I'm quite surprised that these cards actually um, did have the energy of the, of, yeah, what's been going on around us right now. So moving on to the next deck here. Okay, so moving on to the next deck here, we have, I uh, don't remember what it's called. Hang on a sec.
Um, it's the uh, Getting Into the Vortex uh, cards by Esther and Jerry Hicks, The Teachings of Abraham. Okay, it's, it says it's a deck of 60 relationship cards, but I use these cards for guidance just in general for my clients um, or whenever ne uh, there's a need for it. So we're asking, uh, for those of you who've chosen the deck number two, what is it that you've come here to hear? What is your guidance for this week and for this moment? Oops, these cards are falling all over the place today. So we want just one card, maybe two, that tell us what it is that you need to hear. And I feel this is one of them. I'm just trying to feel if you need another card right now. I'm just going to go ahead and begin reading for you. And if there is a need for another card, I will choose one just now. So the card we have here is that which is like unto itself is drawn. Okay, so the first message I'm getting here, I'm going to turn it over and read that in a moment. But the first message I'm getting here for you today is if it is what you desire, if there is something quite specific about what you desire, then you need to be that. Okay, you need to actually be that which you desire. So if you desire from another to, you, you don't want them, you want them to be less selfish. That's just an example. But if somebody, perhaps somebody you live with or your partner is being a bit selfish in terms of what they're doing around the house, or perhaps they are um, uh, expressing a bit of jealousy or insecurity, all right? If you want them to be able to express a different emotion, be a little bit different with you, the, what, you need to be, what you need to do here is you need to embody that. You need to be able to um, be that person. And what will happen is that they'll absorb that, they'll absorb that energy, and they will start over a few days or a few hours. Um, I think it's going to be a few days it depends on who you're with right and they're going to um you know reflect that back to you they're going to mirror that back to you so with even if you're in a work situation be the person that you want them to be and if you're thinking to yourself well i'm really kind and they really mean to me and i can't be any kinder well i think um in that situation try to have a bit of compassion for them or see where uh, their what what's coming where it's coming from you know because if they're being mean to you it's largely due to their own insecurities or because they are not able to compare with you because they see you as a threat in some way and so I mean that's like perhaps in a work environment but I'm just giving examples here right so this is not necessarily your situation uh, but you can apply to your to your own situation and see how that works. And, you know, if you're having difficulty applying that, drop me a line in the comment section and I'll respond to you uh, over the next few days. So, yeah, that which is like unto itself is drawn. So I'm just going to read what's at the back here. It says, everything that you perceive is vibration. And the life you're living is your vibrational interpretation. The powerful law of attraction is at the root of everything you experience. And the never, the never changing, always accurate premise of this law is that which is like unto itself is drawn. When you give thought to something, you begin the attraction process of the essence of that subject into your life experience. Once you've activated a thought vibration within yourself by giving attention to the subject, the progression of expansion occurs. Okay, so I'm drawn to speak about the negative aspect of this. So, you know, it's, it's basically what's really important for you to recognize is that even this is not just what you desire. You know, when you talk about manifesting or visualization, it's not just about what it is that you desire. You know, if you're sitting there thinking, OK, I really would like to have that house uh, and I really don't want to live in this house any longer, then and, and you know, if your vibration is more of that, I don't want to live in this house any longer. You might get thrown out of your house so you might have to leave your house but you might not necessarily have manifested that other house so it's you know that's just a very crude example that i'm giving you but i want you to understand that the negative aspects or that what you don't want has as much um clout as that which you do want so in order for you to be able to 
uh, establish what it is that you desire through manifestation or visualization to be able to draw onto you what it is that you desire you need to completely embody that which it is of which you desire you know you need to root out the fears you need to root out the um, the challenging emotions or the fears or the anxieties or any kind of doubt that you may have you need to completely root it out and you need to be a walking embodiment every cell in your being breathing that of what you desire and in order for you to be for you to be able to create that so that is your advice for you for for you this week I, I think that um, it's important for you to firstly understand what it is that you want you know if you don't know what it is that you want, if you want 10 different things and you're putting all those energies out there at once, the, the universe gets a mixed signal, all right? So it doesn't mean that you shouldn't want 10 different things. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't want a child and shouldn't want the house and shouldn't want the, the relationship and shouldn't want the job and shouldn't want the love or everything. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't want that. But I think concentrate on what it is that you truly want what it is that you truly desire and ask yourself is what it is that you truly desire coming from a space of love or is it coming from a space of fear because you're afraid of be of isolation because you're afraid of being left behind because you're afraid of everyone else moving ahead and you not having a moving ahead and i'm just giving you examples here so this is not necessarily going to apply to everyone but what i'm trying to say is uh, well the, what i'm actually just trying to say is Focus on one thing, if you can, or two things, and put all your energy into that and walk the vibration of that. If it is that you desire to be pregnant, then feel in every cell of your being what it is, what it feels like to be pregnant. If you feel, if you desire something else, then feel that, but feel it with every sense of your being and breathe it out, you know, in the same way that a dragon may breathe fire, breathe out the essence of that which you are. And in doing so, you will put it out into the world and it will be. And so it is. All right. So that was your message for you today. For those of you who've chosen the Esther and um, what is it? Esther and Jerry Hicks uh, cards. So that's it, that. For those of you who've chosen the third deck, we have these ones here. They are the... They are the Denise Lynn uh, Gateway Oracle cards. So I'm going to give them a quick shuffle and we're going to ask, what is it that you need to hear today? What is it that you've come here to hear today? Oops, I feel it's this card here. All right, so this feels quite different from the other energies. Recently, when I've done these Oracle card readings, the third uh, choice has always felt quite different from the others. This, is, this has a quiet energy and it feels more subdued, but not in a bad way. It's more quiet and observant. So the card we have here is dwelling in truth. And it says, I stand in the light of truth. And I feel it's very much like that. Yeah, that's the energy I'm picking up. It's very much about staying in a space of truth, staying in a space of who you are, truth with yourself. And actually just being there, being there in the comfort of knowing, uh, in the comfort of trust, in the comfort of belief, completely submerging yourself into the stillness, which is actually um, completely, it's completely embodying you. And the reason is because you've gone through the processes already. You've gone through what it is that you've needed to do. You've, you've set the goals, you've achieved the goals, and now you, you're bathing in that light, which is pure bliss. And um, so I feel that the message for you this week is simply to enjoy that. Enjoy where you are right now. Enjoy what it is that you're experiencing right now, even if it doesn't feel optimal, even if it doesn't seem in the earthly plane to actually be uh, taking into account all your needs or all your desires. Know that you are in a state of perfection and that you are in a state of bliss recognize that and accept that for what it is because wherever you are and whoever you are right now you are in a state of perfection and your soul knows this and your soul feels that and is trying to communicate that with you right now so feel that feel that go through your body completely and just 
be the embodiment of that as you go along on your days. So I think that is all for you. And I'm sorry that the message for you, for those of you who have chosen the third deck is so short, but that is all that I have to say to you because I feel that here, there isn't much more to this. There's a quietness, there's a stillness, there's a, a feeling of having arrived. There's a feeling of being in truth and knowing it. And there's a trust in that. And there's this confidence in, in this trust. And there's not much more to this. So I hope that has answered your question. If you are struggling with it and you need to understand what it is that you need to do, just go within. Go within to that still space within you. And if you can't find that, then use some tools to get within, into that space. Use some meditation, strum upon a string uh, instrument, or go out into the earth and root yourself. Sit in the ground, put your hands in, in some soil, ask the earth to absorb what it is that is not a part of you and then feel the stillness that is a part of you all right this is a great space in which to actually um to actually um obtain or um manifest what it is that you desire the space that you're in right now so uh take the time to be able to do that and uh, I feel like it will be quite effortless for you. It won't be like you're forging ahead or you're climbing or it's hard for you. I feel like it's just, you know, it's like you can think something right now and a moment later it is there and it is. So, um, but the card, the meaning of this card is simply to enjoy and to be in the space um, which is your truth and which is your trust and which is your confidence. And it's interesting because there was another card in the first... Uh, deck uh, year which also um talked about truth so truth and being one with yourself and dwelling in that is actually uh quite the theme today for these readings so i thank you once again and sorry if this last deck here feels rushed it wasn't i don't feel for me it doesn't feel rushed but i feel that for some of you you might uh wonder why it's so short and you might want more but I feel that there's nothing else here, you know, and for some of the other decks, I've chosen more than one card. Well, one other deck, this one. Um, but uh, I just don't I feel that that's all that I need to say here. So I thank you very much for coming by and I hope you're all doing great and in ba um, basking in this new energy, enjoying it very much. And I wish you all very well. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.